December 22nd, 2032, a space rock the size of a football field could really mess up our day. This asteroid was possibly going to hit us this year and uh, or in 2032 as of earlier this year, but we now know it won't hit the Earth. Now, an asteroid that was spotted late last year by space scientists is being carefully tracked. Scientists are trying to work out whether there's a chance of it hitting the Earth, which could happen eight years from now. You've probably seen some pretty dramatic headlines about a space rock called Asteroid 2224 YR4. Maybe even titles just like the one on this video. And I get it, it sounds terrifying. A city killer asteroid on a collision course with Earth. But what's the real story here? Is this a Hollywood disaster movie waiting to happen? Or is there something else going on? Well, let's break it down. Because while the threat was very real for a little while, the story of 2024 YR4 isn't about impending doom. It's about how our planetary defense systems held up under pressure, and what this whole episode teaches us about the cosmic shooting gallery we live in. So how did this whole thing start? In late 2024, astronomers using the Atlas telescope in Chile spotted a new object. They named it 2224 YR4. The problem was, this asteroid basically snuck up on us. It came from the direction of the Sun, which is a massive blind spot for our ground-based telescopes. Trying to spot an asteroid there is like trying to find a speck of dust on a searchlight. By the time we saw it, it had already zipped past us. But astronomers knew it would be back, and when they plotted its future path, one date stood out. December 22, 2032. The initial numbers were concerning. The probability of it hitting Earth started to climb. Now, when we talk about impact probabilities, any risk over 1% is enough to get everyone's attention. For a few tense weeks, the numbers for 2024 YR4 fluctuated, even peaking at just over 3%. Let's be clear, this isn't a planet killer. But at an estimated 40 to 90 meters across, it's firmly in the city killer category. To put that in perspective, that's eerily similar to the size of the object that caused the infamous Tunguska event back in 1908. Remember that? A mysterious blast over Siberia that flattened over 2,000 square kilometers of forest without the asteroid even hitting the ground. Back then, the remote wilderness gave humanity a lucky break. But imagine that same blast over a modern city. Devastating, right? This is where the story shifts from alarm to action. As soon as 2024 YR4 was flagged, it became a top priority. Telescopes all over the world started tracking it, gathering every possible data point. Think of it like trying to predict where a fly ball will land. The first instant you see it, it's just a guess. But the more you watch its arc, the more precise your prediction becomes. That's exactly what happened here. With every new observation, astronomers crunched the numbers again and again. And fortunately, they could see that the asteroid's path would take it safely past our planet. The impact probability, which had kept astronomers on their toes, dropped dramatically. NASA has now officially confirmed the risk for 2032 is nearly zero. So, you can breathe easy. Earth is in the clear. So, you might be asking, where does the James Webb Space Telescope fit into all this? Its role wasn't to swoop in and deliver a last-minute verdict that saved us all. Instead, its job comes after the immediate threat is ruled out. While we now know the asteroid will miss us, there's still a lot we don't know about it. Webb, with its powerful infrared instruments, can give us a much clearer picture. Here's why that matters. Visible light telescopes just see reflected sunlight. A big, dark asteroid can look just as bright as a small, shiny one, but Webb detects the asteroid's heat. That thermal data lets scientists separate an asteroid's size from its reflectivity, giving us a much better idea of whether this thing is 40 meters across or closer to 90. It's a crucial piece of the puzzle, not for predicting an impact we already know won't happen, but for understanding these objects that share our solar system. So while Earth might have avoided a direct hit, 
the saga of 2024 YR4 has been an incredible, real-world fire drill. And it's raised some serious questions. This whole event highlights one of our biggest vulnerabilities, that solar blind spot. We got lucky this time, but what happens when the next one comes from that direction? This is why missions like the European Space Agency's Neo Mir are so important. It's a space telescope planned for the 2030s that will orbit between Earth and the Sun, specifically to watch that hidden region for threats we can't see from the ground. The story of 2024 YR4 also forces us to think about what we would do if an asteroid was on a collision course. Now you're probably wondering, can we stop this from happening? Well, this is where things take a Hollywood turn, but with a lot more science. Researchers are seriously exploring deflection strategies. The goal isn't to blow the asteroid to bits. That would just turn one big problem into thousands of smaller ones. Instead, the plan is to gently nudge it off course. One idea involves detonating a nuclear device at a specific distance from the asteroid. The heat would vaporize part of the surface, creating a burst of gas that acts like a mini rocket blast, pushing the asteroid just enough to change its trajectory so it misses Earth. It's bold, it's risky, and it's a last resort strategy. But scientists are taking it seriously. Why? Because not long ago, NASA ran a simulated emergency. They imagined an asteroid heading toward Earth with a high chance of impact and only a few years to stop it. The result? With our current technology, we failed. So if a real threat ever emerges, we need to be ready. And as of now, we might not be. What began as a doomsday headline has turned into a powerful lesson the story of 2024 YR4 isn't about an impact, but about the incredible scientific process that works tirelessly in the background to keep us safe. It was a test of our systems, and this time, we passed. We now have a few years before the asteroid swings by again in 2028, giving us another chance to study it up close with our best instruments. It's a reminder that the sky above us is dynamic and, sometimes, dangerous. This time, we were spared, but the universe has given us a valuable wake-up call. So, what do you think? Should we be investing more in asteroid defense systems like Neo Mir and deflection technologies? Are we doing enough to prepare for a potential threat? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear your take. Until next time, keep looking up. Because space isn't just fascinating, it might be our next big challenge.